today we are going to be planting some sweet corn and I want to try this red strawberry popcorn because they said you could put this once you grow this corn and you dry it out and then you can take the corn kernels just like popcorn put them in the microwave and pop you some popcorn so I'm going to only going to grow four of these corns because just in case they don't work then um, I don't feel like I've wasted a lot of these seeds in my growing time on this um, corn. But this just looks so pretty, doesn't it? I am so excited about um, growing this. So I have my pea pellets here. I have them labeled. I'm going to have a whole bunch of sweet corn, sweet corn. And then I have the red strawberry corn on this side. So let's get to planting. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times, but I wanted to bring you guys with me so we can plant this together. All right, you guys. So like I always tell you, these little pea pods, once you expand them, they get really, really big. So what I do is I always take this netting that they have all around these pea pellets. I kind of like open them up so I can get them prepared and ready to accept the seed that I am going to be placing inside them. So I just kind of like, you know, kind of like tear them open from side to side so I can get me some planting space. And it doesn't hurt them because, you know, I love that once these pea pellets um, expand, then they are ready to be planted because they already have the soil and stuff ready for you. So on this side, I gotta make sure I get my side right. So I'm only gonna do these two over here. So let's plant these two right here of the the red strawberry corn. We'll do these two here. So it'll only be um, four seeds of that. So let's get these planted first. And you see I've never opened this pack. So we're going to open this bad boy up. I don't think there's any, you know, right way to put these seeds in there. So you see them? They're, they're pretty like medium size. So I'm just going to drop one in each side of this. I'm going to keep these exposed so I know that those two are my red strawberry popcorn seeds. So I'm going to put those two there, and the rest of them, we are just going to plant our sweet corn. That's it. So let's start poking our holes, and I'm using my chopstick. So I'm just going to make some holes, and then I'm just going to put them on my table right here by my um, window. And just let Mother Nature take the wheel and do the job for me. And she always does such a great job for me. She always gets them started. And then once she gets them to a, to a nice size plant or seedling, then I take over and they go into the grow light. All right, so let's get this sweet corn. Now, I have opened these. And I got to tell you that I've only were able to grow, um, how many corn was I? Two corn cobs out of my whole time trying to grow so this is what that sweet corn looks like it's almost like a bluish blackish color so we're gonna just stick these bad boys in here i'll leave them up until i know that each one of them has been planted and then i'll take my chopstick and i will push them down in the soil and let them do what they do and I know I'm a little late getting these corn in, but over here in Virginia, 7B, chow has been nothing but raining, raining, raining. As I'm looking out my window, it's like a big old swamp out there. So, I'm just telling you, we are getting the rain over here, and I'm trying to catch as much of that rainwater as I possibly can in my wheelbarrow. So I can fill up that one trash can that I purchased from Lowe's. So I can have me some good old rainwater. Do I have a seed in there already? 
Make sure I'm not doubling up and putting in seeds in there. Oh, this one doesn't have any. All right, put one there. And there. And I got one more down here. And then we will have our corn planted. And I will keep you guys updated on how this corn is doing. Because I usually just um, direct sow my corn into the soil. But this time I wanted to try... Um, putting them in these pea pods and growing them a little bit. So when I put them outside in my containers, then they'll have a, a better start. But you're going to see what the difference are. Is it easier to just put them directly in the soil and then just let them grow that way? Does it make it for a healthier plant? And you get a quicker yield from it? If you already have them pre-started as a plant? Or is it better to have them, um, you know directly sown in the soil so we gonna see and you know I like a good experiment so we gonna see we gonna see all right so push them down and all I'm gonna do is cover and these pea pellets are already wet and these also has all the food that these seedlings are gonna need in order to get a good start so you're just gonna say a prayer over them and we are just going to let them sit in here and do what they do. And know they won't get no sunlight and stuff today or tomorrow because it's supposed to be rainy, rainy, rainy. I tell you guys, over here, I'm not I'm sure I'm not the only one getting the rain because um I'll be watching the weather. I don't like watching the other stuff on the news, but I keep up with that weather report because as a gardener you got to know what your weather conditions are going to be so you'll either be able to cover up your stuff or bring them in if they need some extra protection and make sure these seeds have good contact with the soil that's why i'm just touching them a little bit so we can start them off right so they can grow 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 and give us a nice looking corn and now I just got to figure out where I'm going to put this corn because I didn't have it. Like I said I didn't have a designated spot where I wanted to put my my um, corn, but I will find a special little spot in here in Renee's garden to watch this beautiful corn grow. So with that being said, I want to say I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a blessed day. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most important, do not forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I have another video coming your way. So get out there and get your seeds dropped in the soil or get your seeds started in your containers. So when it's time, you'll be ready to put your seedlings in the ground or you'll be ready to look at those seeds growing in that wonderful soil in your garden and that just makes you feel so good that you did that you dropped those seeds you started those seeds and you're going to be able to feed your family and your friends so have a wonderful day blessed day and get out there drop some seeds grow some seeds so you can start harvesting some food from your garden. All right, guys, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Take care.